The first team and the under-21s mm -hmm. are already quite closely interlinked as they are. They share the same canteen, they work in the gym together. Mm -hmm. I guess training together, that's just a, a natural continuation of that existing relationship. Well, the young players have got to feel comfortable uh, in the environment. We want them to, to go into a first-team dressing room and feel part of the family. We want them to come down to the training ground and feel part of the group. And uh, that's why we, we eat together, we train together, we, tra we train at the same place, we, you know, we do all the things that we have to do to make sure that this family at Forest feels comfortable uh, when we need to rely on some young players when they get to that situation of coming into the first team that they come in, like we've done with uh, Jamal LaSalle again at the weekend where he travelled with, with the 18-man squad. And so there's, there's one or two young players that are now starting to get to that situation where they require that experience, but of course it has to be earned and it has to be earned by their performances in the under-21s and it certainly has to be earned also on the training ground, which is very important. It's Thursday morning and the first team and the under-21s are back in the dome, warming up ahead of the day's training session. It starts with a team talk from the manager. Training is played at a high tempo and intensity throughout. The hard work doesn't stop though for Eric Lehi, because after training he goes into the dome for some extra work with sports scientist Ross Burberry. Well for Eric we just need to work on his efficiency of movement so we've done a lot of foot speed drills, coordination, uh, a lot of leg stiffness work that we supplement what we do in the gym with him at the same time. So this is quite a regular thing after training, bringing one or two of the lads in and doing a little bit of extra work with them. Yeah, we've got a few small focus groups that we work towards uh, and working with Eric there, there's, there's a few other things that we do within the gym, but what you've just seen is just working on his, uh, his, his foot speed, basically. For Chris Cohen, it's the end of a hard week and the start of some much needed downtime. Yeah, it's nice, obviously, you know, work really hard during the international break, then you get a few days off, which is nice, and then you have a full week to prepare for our next game, which will be a very tough game against an informed Bournemouth. So it is nice, you do do a lot of hard work before your days off, and then you get a few days off to um, go and enjoy yourself and spend some time with the family and stuff. So, you know, it works out really well for the players. The players that don't play internationally will tell you that they're, um, they're very grateful to the international players for letting us have some days off. Three days into the international break, before the Brighton game, you said you were looking forward to putting your stamp on this team and beginning to coach them into your style of play. How far along that process do you think you've begun to go? Well, uh, when you get to this stage, uh, what, what happens is you go from Saturday to Saturday, which you know, gives your players more rest and recovery. Uh, if you look at the history of our, our teams in the last six or seven years, whatever it may be, then we always seem to gather momentum uh, around about the October, November, December time, which is very important. And uh, what, what we'll try and do is continue with that, that theme. Uh, we'll get working on the training ground more often because there's no midweek games or very few midweek games. We'll do all the small group training sessions and individual training sessions that's now required to shape up this team. We'll work harder on fitness and sharpness. We'll work harder on tactical analysis. And uh, we'll do all the things that we have to do with regards to making this group better. And I guess you'll be looking to build on the momentum that you've started this week into next week ahead of the Bournemouth game. Yeah, obviously we're, we're delighted with the return so far. Uh, but there's no doubt the players have given us a tremendous bit of effort over the last 11 games. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with our performances in general. Uh, like every other club in the, in the division, it's not been perfect. There has been some ups and downs, but that's expected. And. Uh, We'll keep striving to find that perfection, Matt, that, that many of our fans uh, scream for. And uh, we'll keep trying to do our job as best as we can.